Hello everybody, Joe Tactical here again. In this video I just wanted to share with you kind of the cooking, drinking type kits for my adventure backpack. Uh, I know it's a stupid name but I gotta call it something, right? So, adventure backpack. It's the backpack I use when I go on adventures. So, there you go. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it here. Now, <clears throat> there's a bottle kit and then there's a cook kit. Now, the cook kit will very slightly depending on what I'm going to be preparing for food if I'm going to be preparing for food and hey I'm a fat guy so most of the time you know I prepare for food <laughs> so that is what it is but um, we'll talk about these separate separate and let me actually get to the bottle kit here first I'll put this off to the side uh, the bottle kits very simple so let's knock that out real quick and I know lots of bandanas. I have lots of bandanas because in the pack it's easier to pull out stuff that's compartmentalized but without another nylon pouch that's heavy with a zipper and also even a little bit more than that. The nylon pouch really doesn't do anything else for me. Now I know I could do this and that with it and it, it seals it better or whatever or wild edibles but what can I do compare the two of that pouch that's essentially in a bigger pouch being the backpack what can I do with that little pouch that I can't do with a bandana so that's kinda of where I'm at with that and this what's this weigh a half ounce I think so if you gotta figure if one pouch weighs four ounces I can bring eight bandanas alright now let's also talk a little bit more of multifunction with this you know if I was gonna bring if I'm going to open this up, let's say I want to make hot chocolate, whatever, apple cider, or whatever. I'm going to take this up or take this off and then it's off and then I want to cook in this. Well, when I go to grab these handles on this cup, this bandana is my pot holder. And also when I'm done, if I want to wipe my mouth off or whatever, again, there's the bandana. Something a pouch couldn't do. So this, in a lot of ways, does more overall than the pouch so you know so there's the bandana bandana they're everywhere <laughs> all right so we have a fork we have the pathfinder stainless steel bottle with the flat lid that's the new lid I have about four of these sets I think total and then the pathfinder stainless steel cup that's my bottle kit the only reason why the fork is actually in here instead of in the, uh, the, the cook kit is because it's an odd shape and the only way it can best be stowed is jammed in here. And also you'll see there that it doesn't really protrude or anything get snagged. And then after you tie that up with the bandana, it really, there's, there's just virtually no chance that that would ever be an issue but I am conscious of that and that's why that's in like that and not anywhere else uh, but it could be <clears throat> so let me just tie this back up here and now I guess one of the things you could say versus the pouch not the harp on the bandana versus pouch thing is right now what I'm doing is I tie two knots two just regular square knots I guess they call it and then uh, as opposed to a pouch which I just put it in and zip so you know it's kind of a trade-off but I'd rather do that what I'm doing now than having a pouch <clears throat> now the cook kit as I said this this is really subjective to what exactly uh, I'm going to be preparing for food on that specific outing but still kind of giving myself a little bit more than I would think now there's not food really in this right now but there there there's room for it like for example if I'm making biscuits and gravy uh, the I'll make a biscuit at home or, or two biscuits at home put them in a plastic bag put it in in here in the bandana but not in the kettle itself uh, and then what I'll do is like if I make sausage or something I'll freeze it the night before and then I'll take that sausage frozen jam it in here the best that I can and then because uh, I won't bring like a ton, you know, and I'll be able to go out three, four, five hours, maybe even 
longer depending on the temperature of outside uh, without it worry about it going bad things like that I know dehydrating stuff mountain house yeah um, I don't really like all those and really you can you can do a lot cheaper and make it a lot better I, I recently had the mountain house biscuits and gravy for the first time and I really didn't care for it it was very bland and I can make the same amount if not more for probably half the price and it's better and with a little of pre-preparation as long as I'm not out there longer and it's hot you know where again uh, this is why I like winter camping as opposed to summer you bring whatever food you want it's cold it's like a refrigerator outside but um, that's kinda how I roll with with things like that there's uh, the MSR pocket rocket in here I have a cloth sail needle in here as well as a mini Bic lighter just to kind of be its own little kit so you know and if you had to I guess dig out a splinter or something you could take that lighter in this kit and then heat up that needle to sterilize it and then dig the thing out so you know if you were so inclined to do that another Bic lighter uh, for a while I was doing the neon green lighters and then it kind of, I was kind of like well green is very uh, prevalent in the, the woods and I know it's a different color green but now I started getting like the orange ones and stuff but the orange ones are really hard to find like a neon orange they're really hard to find especially the mini Bix so I'm trying to work that out I might just go with red because that's a lot easier I don't know I know this sounds really stupid <laughs> as far as that really uh, picky or whatever um, just to light my fire with a neck lanyard on it real simple type thing you know I can wear it on my neck couple uh these are kind of like a, 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 a go-to for me um, they're apple cider and they're they offer more uh, you know vitamins for example than hot chocolate or coffee or something like that I'm not really a coffee drinker so this is if I'm going to drink a hot beverage chances are it's going to be apple cider so there's that here's the esbit tabs these are good for like fire starting, like an accelerant for fire starting, stuff like that. Um, I I don't really, I wanted to like these, and I've used these for a number of years in different kinds of, you know, the Coglin brand and stuff like that, um, and Trioxane. Trioxane is actually my favorite, but that's a little bit harder to get, you know, if you get it from Emergency Essentials, is the best, cheapest price that I found for it. Uh, but I wanted these to be better than they were okay and I know some people swear by them and that's cool but they just for the the bulk and the weight that they they add to the kit I I would like them to be a little bit better um, not saying there's anything wrong with them it's just my preference I, I shouldn't say better uh, just my preference I don't really prefer these so and these freaking canisters this is five dollars for 3.9 ounces or you could pay six dollars for eight ounces a dollar difference for more than twice as much twice as much because this this is almost four ounces but you get eight ounces for a dollar more so uh, the I fought this for years and years and years you know and and I just for this specific kit I needed it to go inside this kettle okay and I really did and I didn't want to get a bigger kettle or some type of bigger cook thing or whatever so I bit the bullet and I bought I think about four of these or something like that and um, these are what I'm using for the adventure kit if I was going to go for like a longer stay or something then I would have to go for the bigger one and I would get a better deal from that but I look at it like this if I go out five times and I'm able to use this five times it's basically a dollar per use is that adventure to me worth a dollar per use And the answer is yes because you can't put a price on you know living life and if that's what it is that's what it is and as much as I don't like it and cry and scream about it that is what it is so if you guys <laughs> if you've been fighting it too over the years um, give it a try and then and then try to make your kit a little smaller and you'll be like man it just sucks but it, it is what it is I've looked in the refueling them I've even contacted MSR I've probably spent about six hours of doing research online between different adapters and I know I can thread it up 
and I know at least the, the fluid will balance itself out. And like, I don't even want to get into it, and I don't recommend anybody doing that because it could be uh, dangerous. You know, you could damage something or, or cause injury to yourself or, or even worse. So just don't do that. But um, that's where I was at. If I could get a 20 pound propane tank and then somehow be able to fill one of these, now you're talking about what's that, the tenth of price? Because you're getting basically. 20 pounds for $20 or I'm getting one pound for $20 for these and really it would be less than a pound because each one's 3.9 so you're still uh, what's that 0.4 you're almost talking about a half, half ounces 0.4 ounces less for these as opposed to just getting that big uh, barbecue propane grill uh, thing filled up and stuff like that so <clears throat> It was very hard for me to come to terms with that, but by doing that, it really opens up capabilities. Because you see here, it doesn't really take up any space to do what I'm doing with it. And there's still room in there. And you could even, you know, throw a lot more in there. Because I do. Like, when I'm going out, that's what I do. I use this and, and stuff it as much as I can with whatever I'm going to be doing that day. <clears throat> and finally, this, this kettle here, this is a Snow Peak. I think it's called the Kettle Number 1. I don't think they have a kettle number two, so I don't understand why they would need to specify, but nevertheless, it's a nice kettle. It's got a bail on it. It's got a pouring spout. It's got handles on it back here. And just like the uh, the bandana for the cup set or the bottle set, while this bandana is off, it can be used uh, to, um, to be like a pot holder as well. Just want to share it with you guys. I, I kind of went into detail on certain things one because I just ramble on sometimes and I apologize but hey it is what it is uh, second of all I like to put out more of the details on why I do what I do so that, that way people can look at it from my perspective and that might be helpful to you but in addition to that if you hear why I'm doing something a certain way you might be like oh man I used to do that too or you know I thought about that but then I thought about it like this so you could throw out ideas to me and it goes back to why I do videos, and it goes back to why my, my little stupid slogan on here is let's all learn from each other. So that's why I go into details. I know it's kind of a pain listening to me ramble on about stuff, but I, I wouldn't say it if I didn't feel like it, it had sub substance to it. So but just want to share with you guys, you know, like I said, I'm not an expert or whatever in any of this stuff, but it's just an adventure. You know, life's a life's an adventure, life's a learning journey, and um, yeah. So I'm going to step down from my little rant and soapbox mountain here. I think it's about, what is that? Oh, it's 3.30 in the morning. No wonder my voice sounds the way it does. So thank you very much for watching. Again, you know, if you have any ideas, please feel free to drop me a line. Thank you very much for watching, for all your support and everything. Hopefully I'll be back in the swing of doing regular videos, at least one or two a week. Uh, i got a lot of catching up to do, and uh, I really enjoy what's, what's to come. So thank you very much for uh, choosing to spend your time watching one of my videos and check out some other stuff if you haven't. It's like I always say, let's all learn from each other. Joe Tactical out. I just can't shut up, can I?